Hi and welcome to this classical guitar build video. In this video I'm building a classical guitar from start to finish. Everything goes quite fast in this video, but you can use the YouTube playback controls to slow it down, or you can even speed it up if you think it's too slow. I'm starting out with the neck here. This is a 650mm scale length. Uh, it has a traditional Spanish heel and is made of uh, cedar wood and uh, the fingerboard is ebony. So what I'm doing here is I'm preparing the scarf joint. Just making sure everything is straight and nice. Using a glass plate and a sandpaper to make sure it's flat. And simply glue it together. Making sure everything is square. So everything's going very fast there. So <laughs> but I think you can see what I'm doing. Okay, this is going to be the headstock plate. A band saw has a bad setup, so I'm just cutting it with a hand saw. Adding some veneers and glue. Letting it dry overnight. Here I'm cutting the edge for the nut. This has to be perpendicular to the to the fretboard. And as you can see, I'm using a CNC to cut out the headstock here. Making sure everything is lined up at the center. This is actually an inlay for the headstock I'm making here. Which I'm going to wedge in place, as you can see very soon. Here I'm cutting out some parts for the side bending jig. This is a radius dish. So this is for the Solera and uh, this is back to the side bending jig. Okay, so this is not the best way to cut the slots. Uh, it's better to use uh, a table saw with a cross cut sled, but uh, I didn't have that right at this point. So here I cut the slots. You can see they are quite wide. This is because I use a wedge to hold the sides in place. I think this was uh, commonly used by uh, Romanillos. And here I'm shaping the heel, just getting rid of a lot of wood. So here I'm drawing out the final shape of the neck, making sure the center line is where it should be. This is how I glue together the back and uh, the soundboard. Use the same method for both. Just using wedges and uh, gluing everything together. So here I'm using a template to mark uh, everything out. Uh, this is not. I'm not using uh, a template and cutting it out with a band. So I use a CNC, but I just want to see where. It things are going to be. So here we're going fast forward. This is uh, actually the rosettes I'm working on here. Here I'm working on the back, planning off the center strips. Cutting out the shape. And these are the back braces. I also cut out the spine for the back with the CNC, as you can see here. Just making sure everything fits and going back to the rosette. 
Using this uh, paper cutting machine is a great way to cut veneers as well. Here I am laminating uh, veneers for the rosette tiles. It's a very time consuming process. Here I'm making sure every strip is the correct thickness using a sandpaper. And I actually have a veneer under the tape there to get the correct thickness. <coughs> I'm gluing the back here. Making some more strips. And I have this block for gluing it together. Make sure everything stays in place. Just check at the end that everything is correct. So here I'm cutting out the small tiles. These are just 1.3 millimeters thick, so they're quite thin. I just love this work. This is so enjoyable. Just putting everything in place and uh, listening to music. graft so I'm making the fingerboard and making sure everything is in place I'm adding two pins uh, two guide pins to make sure it stays in place when I'm gluing it I do this on the first and the twelfth fret 
shaping the neck this looks quite rough but it's a lot of wood to remove adding the fret fret strings Uh, so this is a very nice process as well, uh, shaping the neck with a knife. Just adding the heel cap. Adding the tuners, they fit perfectly. And making the bridge, this is a slanted bridge. Just t testing out the saddle, making sure it's uh, properly seated. Just doing some fine adjustments here and drilling the holes for the strings. Looks very good. Doing some French polish. This is a very time consuming process and can be quite frustrating as well. The good thing with maple is that you don't need to use any filler. Okay, so now it's time to place the bridge. I made a template here to make it easier to place it. It aligned up perfectly with the soundboard and the center line. Here I'm removing the French polish to make sure the glue adheres to the soundboard. Adding the tuners, this is a very simple process. I'm always pre-drilling to make sure nothing cracks. So I hope you liked this video and want to subscribe on my channel. Um, please like the video and give it a thumbs up. Uh, and thanks for watching.